Free? Yeah, it's a podcast. Just 12 episodes long. What's up, guys? We're here at AMC Town Square with Chasing Cinema. James Shu, how are you? Dot <laughs> com, and we're here for a movie I'm extremely excited about. It's the sequel to Divergent, Insurgent. Um, yeah, so let's take ourselves back a year. Louis actually wrote the review for Divergent, uh, so I didn't talk very much about it. But what did you think about Shailene Woodley and her young adult dystopian world? You know, we have the Twilight film that came out, and then it, that, the whole series of the Twilight films. It really wasn't that big of a, a fan of them, and then. The whole idea of all these YA films, these young adult films, I didn't really know if I was going to be excited about them. And then Divergent came out, I wasn't really gonna excited to watch it. And then when I watched it, I really, 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 really enjoyed what I saw with part one mm -hmm. of what I saw with Insurgent and all that good stuff. So all of our friends are saying goodbye. <laughs> so yeah, so Divergent, I actually really liked a lot. I got extremely excited. I was like, okay, so there might be a future with all these YA films, these young yeah. adult films. And then uh, Kate Winslet was pregnant in part one, so we didn't really see much of Kate Winslet. Uh, she was just more of, and she always had to have something around her so you couldn't see her belly bump. But overall, the Theo James, Shailene Willie, she's blown up even since then. Yeah. You know, she's now people are saying, okay, she's a real rock star. She's gonna be able to do her thing. And so I'm really excited about tonight's film. It's part two of part three. I'm excited, man. Well, I actually think Shailene Willie was definitely the best part of Divergent, you know. But it was a really interesting time because we, we had, you know, Twilight, which was obviously not something that we are proud of. But then we have The Hunger Games, which is on this huge pedestal, and, we're, and all these movies are trying to be there. But now the rest kind of fall in the middle. You know, you have movies like, uh, at that time we had Beautiful Creatures, The Mortal Instruments, all films that people didn't see, no one cared about. Then after we after Divergent, which was again I thought an okay film, not too great, had its moments, had potential. You know, it was the one that had the most potential to become like the Hunger Games and become a good solid series. We had The Giver, which was terrible, and then we have um, Maze Runner, The Maze Runner, which was good, which was awesome. I was so surprised how much I enjoyed The Maze Runner. So now I think that um, if I had to choose, I think in my review I even wrote that I enjoyed The Maze Runner more than I enjoyed Divergent. So now seeing the sequel, that um, I have to. I'm really interested in seeing that if it ups its game now. Uh, a year later and you're going to the sequel, I think Hunger Games 2 is the best one of the trilogy, so hopefully this follows suit. Theo James, for some reason, reminds me of Paul Walker. God could, rest I that could, man's soul. I, I don't could, know why. I could kind of see that. Yeah, I don't know why. But anyway, how long is this, this nice is, But this is, your, is this your first film? Seeing Miles Teller post with Oh yeah, you know what? And that's another thing. Miles Teller in part in the uh, Divergent annoyed really annoying. me. Really annoying. And then <coughs> But Miles Teller anything pre whiplash annoyed me. Like no, I and then when Miles Teller moment. he said in the interview how oh, he doesn't yeah. even enjoy doing these movies. And to me that's so disrespectful because you're getting paid millions of dollars. I can't even talk to you, dude. <laughs> He's getting you get paid talk you get, I'm not gonna look at you anymore. Um, he gets paid millions of dollars, and then he goes out of his way to say, you know, these films aren't blah blah blah. I don't like that, dude. You know, I don't like that at all. He's young. Let him be foolish. I don't like that at all. You know, <laughs> well, you don't. It's like if you don't like what you're doing, that's cool. You know, you're still you're not doing this for charity. They're paying you millions of dollars to do it. Shut your mouth, dude. I'm just saying that's my personal. Don't bad mouth it. Yeah, no, I hear you. But at the same time, I mean, that's. And know. he annoys me. Everything's on screen, but Whiplash, he was bomb. So is it going to be different looking at him now post a flash? Let's That's find how out. Most how long's the movie? Two hours. Let's go, Insurgent. I'm excited. All right, guys. So we just got out of Insurgent, and in tradition, I'll go. I liked it. You know what? Did I love it? I don't know if I can say I loved it, but I'm going to say watch it. I had a lot of fun. There are moments that are slow. This is not a perfect film, but from what I'm hearing from all my friends, they didn't like the movie. And I need to be the first one to say I really liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. Theo James was Theo James. Uh, Kate Winslet. <laughs> Kate Sorry. Winslet, like just Theo I, James. Theo she wasn't James. pregnant, so she looked good. She was still my my all-time favorite Rose, right from Titanic. But again, she was really just like this stiff, mechanical. She she yeah. she doesn't have much to work with. No, she she's doesn't. She's great, and like you could tell she's good, but her character is just like there's nothing there. This for is her, her character, the whole movie. Yeah. So, but that's not Kate Winslet's fault. No, 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 so not at all. She's not doing but anything. She, and surprisingly, she even she still makes that character at least interesting. Yeah. Even though it's boring. So Kate Winslet, uh, love her, but my favorite Rose, like I said, but she didn't do much. But you know that's fine. Shane Willie was fine to me. <coughs> this movie got a big budget break. They got more money for the special effects, and then. You know, there are some slow parts in this movie. There are some parts that are unnecessary. But overall, man, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. I, I didn't love it, but I'm not mad at it. I'm excited for a How do you feel about Woodley? I, no opinion. She wasn't bad. She was, she was fine. She, I, I enjoyed the film. 
And yeah, you're right, Allegiant. I, um, to be honest, I don't, I'm not sure if they said they were splitting the third film into two. Um, I, I'm in, assuming in fine will... Hollywood tradition, we're going to get to it. <laughs> yeah. They'll do it okay. in two. So, um, you know, now we have made the midway point. <laughs> and um, I honestly think that the best way to sum up Insurgent is them dropping the ball. Um, I really was disappointed in Insurgent. Uh, I thought that everyone, every thing that I looked hopeful, helpful in the first film, they just kind of lost in this movie. This is a perfect supposed to film. I'm supposed to be entertained. I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to care about my characters. I'm supposed to care what's going on. I'm supposed to be emotionally invested, but I'm not. I do not care what's going on. The movie just jumps right in, and it's just kind of this whole, ever since the, the opening shot, we're just kind of like, uh, okay, I remember what's going on, but I don't really care. Um, I honestly thought Woodley, who I praised so much for the first film, really, was weak in this movie. I actually thought at times her performance was truly awkward. Like that once, the scene when she gets the true serum, I found awkward for myself to watch it. How she was reacting, her performance, I just felt it was really off. It wasn't really giving it her all. <coughs> the, to be surprised, to, I mean, to my surprise, my favorite character in the whole movie was Peter. Played by Miles Teller. You know why? <laughs> because he knows how to play the bastard character. Yeah, he does. He That's does, why. You know? He knows how to play the jackass character. He was, you know, in the first movie he was really annoying, but you know, he's kind of entertaining in this movie. He's the one kind of character that I was like, oh, you know, who wasn't that bad. And of course, Kate Wins that we already talked about. She's great, even when her character is not, and uh, she has, doesn't have much to work with. She still makes it very interesting. The ending of this movie made me sad. Moving on. <laughs> um, I just think the movie is empty. At the end of the day, I think that this movie really kind of lacked passion and, 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 and drive to really want to be great. I think right now with all these YA dystopian movies, and especially after seeing The Maze Runner, that this movie really needed to up its game, and it didn't. It, it seemed to be content being mediocre. It didn't really want to do much. I mean, sure, the occasional action scene was fun and exciting. The visuals at times are really spectacular, but that isn't enough to make me interested and really care about what's going on in the movie and be emotionally connected. Um, I just think the movie really was kind of ineffective. Insurgent was ineffective. Ooh, title. You know what the thing with me I think is, is once I like a franchise like this, that I'm just happy to see my returning characters. I'm excited to see a new story. Yeah. Uh, Maggie Q, Mackay Pfeiffer, love those two also. So I think for me, I think a lot of times, I mean I can admit everything he said, I, I, I'm actually, I would, I'm gonna agree with all that. I'm gonna agree with everything he said, but I still enjoyed it. So I think if you like Divergent 1, you're still going to like this one. I oh, think. yeah. I think that if you like Divergent 1, there shouldn't be anything stopping you from seeing Insurgent. But just like the Hunger Games, there are Hunger Games movies that I love. There are Hunger Games movies that I find, find really disappointing. But, you know, it's just part of that roller coaster. So hopefully, after, you know, the reviews and everything coming out for this film and how well it does, they'll kind of change their attitude towards the last films. I don't know the story of Allegiant or where, where it goes And I'm glad there. I don't know. Yeah, me too. But they might have a really up a good, great opportunity to kind of change things up. I think they have a lot of interesting concepts. I think, you know, that whole entire, um, you know, the, the sim world and all that stuff is really entertaining. You know, that to me, that's the, mo that, that's the best part of the film. We're kind of dragging through this hour and 40 minute thing. And then when finally Shailene Woodley gets connected to the sim, uh, and to, to, to turn on this box, it becomes the most entertaining part of the movie. Um, you know, even, even as predictable as it gets. Uh, I think that um, the movie is going to take an interesting direction now as we kind of are learning about different characters and other um, fractions, if you will, or the fraction list, more or less. Uh, but overall, I, I was really um, underwhelmed by this movie. I can, I can understand that. But I'm gonna say it was. A good, I liked. I liked the movie though. I liked it. It was. Fun. It wasn't. I, and again, I don't, I'm not saying the movie was terrible. Uh, it was just a, something just pretty down. looking in a, in a hollow shell. Yeah. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. All right, seven days from today, we got a couple things. Yes, we have Home, the new animated feature from DreamWorks that looks a lot more silly than it does emotionally awesome, like How to Change Dragon 2, but I'm still excited. I, I've i really had my sights set with DreamWorks, and I have a lot of hope for the, that that's, uh, studio. And we have Will Smith and Kevin Hart in Get Hard. You said Will Smith? <laughs> Will Ferrell and uh, Kevin Hart. I wish. I like the part where he's bench pressing, uh, I mean uh, arm curling Kevin Hart. I love Kevin Hart as a stand-up comedian. I've yet to see a movie of his that really kind of recreates how great he is. You know, his movies are always kind of fell below the mark. But I hope these two are great together, you know. I mean, I'm the first one to tell you that I don't really care for Will Ferrell unless he's with 
John C. Riley. I love Step Brothers, I love Talladega Knights. But beyond that, I'm not crazy about them. But you know, maybe this team will be good enough to kind of recreate. But I've been seeing so much of this movie, I'm afraid that I've seen it already. And don't forget to go to chasingcinema.com slash insurgent. And that way you can get the full honor review and all the ups and downs and all the highs and lows of what uh, Jacob Toronto was talking about. But again, check out the movie. If you liked it, you're gonna like this one. And I think that if you haven't even seen part one and you go straight into part two, you're definitely not going to be disappointed. Did you like part two more than part one or no? I don't know. It's still fresh. It's still I, kind of... But I, you know what? To me, it's not, it's not going to matter either because I'm just... I'm, I'm already in for part three, you know? Yeah, it's like, either way. I'm going to finish well, this trilogy. I'm in for part three too, but that doesn't mean voluntarily. Yeah, I'm going to finish up the trilogy. I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm just jacked up, fired up, motivated, passionate, brand new way more than ever before. As always, guys, please, uh, I want to make a special announcement to please go check out our podcast for this week. It's actually going to be published fairly early because um, a film scholar that mentored me for most of my career, if you will, Jeffrey Krause, is in the middle of actually restoring a 1927 silent film which is amazing. The act of restoration is really, really important. We talk a lot more about it in the podcast. James will be uploading it on YouTube later this week, uh, probably the next day or two. And of course, watch it on iTunes. Um, amazing stuff, so please go check that out. I'm excited about that. Let's all right, Facebook and Twitter, like and follow. Change the so you can understand what film is really all about. We're back in seven days, and in 14 days, I'm gonna start crying, man. Paul Walker, vroom, vroom. Furious 7. Yeah, uh, I'm really, I'm honestly not being I'm that, we're all black on you that know, night. I'm not super crazy about the Fast and Furious movies. I am. I'm really excited for that movie. It looks crazy, but Paul Walker, man. There's going to be a lot of emotion going into that movie. Dude, the, the minute he comes on screen, I know rain, the, everyone in the theater is going to start clapping. Yeah, I mean, probably, no, and, and I love that, though. That's what I love about the theater, watching with people. That's why, if you don't know what the point of watching a movie in the theater is, that's what it is. Exactly. You need to come to a theater, stop watching movies on your iPhone and your iPod, come out, enjoy a movie with a grunge of people and have an experience. Share an experience. A grunge which of people. A grunge of people. If you don't know what a grunge is, it's more than a bunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, by the way, <laughs> a lot of people don't know Because our, our theaters are always filled with way more than a bunch. We got nothing but people in ours. <laughs> Woo! Nothing but people. Let's do it. Girl, say hello. <laughs> Girl, hit me hallelujah. Woo! <laughs> so yeah, uh, chasingcinema.com is the film lovers website. By the way, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, thumbs up. Comments below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas, thoughts, or quandaries of any type of any sort for me. Subscribe to the channel so you can get more awesome videos. In the description box, you're also going to find my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, and my book, Mobilizing People, about communication skills and how to get along with people, how to network, how to make more money, set up events. Awesome read. If you like books, promise you, you'll love it. If you don't like books, well, you may not want to get it because you don't like books. Also, below this, three boxes starting from your left to your right. On the far left video, right, it might be that way. Doesn't matter. But three boxes starting from your left. The Adventures of Superman, where all my friends that own their awesome businesses throughout the United States, we do features on them and we show you why they're awesome in The Adventures of Superman. In the middle box is our vlog channel where you're going to see me talk about uh, randomness that happens throughout our day, on my way to shoots, behind the scenes of the shoots and how we do our shoots for all of our friends that own these awesome businesses. And in the last box, you're going to notice mobilizing people. And that's about the vision, ambition, desire, and how to basically get jacked up, fired up, motivated, and passionate in a brand new way more than ever before. And we really go over the key ideas of how to become successful, how to get inspired, how to stay focused, and how to become the ultimate entrepreneur so you can do what you want when you want. So yeah, guys, if you guys like all the videos, thumbs up. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.